In this video, we're going to learn how we can control the opacity of our highlights and rim lights or even shadows on a material basis. By default, this isn't possible as the amount of data that can be passed from the material to the post process system is not large enough to allow for all the data that is being transferred right now and on top of that, the opacity of those effects to be transferred as well. But if you're not using the patterns, you can simply use the data in a creative way to have those effects fade out a little bit. Now for this, I'm going to quickly create a new material. I'm going to use the SRS attrib material attributes node and connect it like this. I'm going to give this object a gray as a base color. And now for the pattern gradient input, now let's create a scalar input by holding S and left clicking. And let's call this um, key light opacity. We'll leave this between zero and one and set the default value for one and plug this into the pattern gradient input. Hit apply. And let's duplicate the sphere and drag this onto right here. Now with this, we're done with setting up the material for this effect. Now what we need to do is go into the SRS actor and search for anti-aliasing strength. This is something that smooths out the patterns, but since we're not using the patterns, we can use this value however we want. Let's set this to 0 0.25, and you can see that everything has become a little bit less visible. So let's create an instance of our material, apply this to here, and now we can modify the opacity of our effects using this slider. One thing you're going to have to do to have the m this opacity name match up with the effect that we're seeing is simply add a one minus node, which you can create by holding O and left clicking and connect it like this. And now at a low opacity value, everything will become less visible and at a high value, everything will be very visible as before. Now, as you can see right now, everything, highlights, rim lights, shadows is being affected, but we don't want to affect the shadows for this effect. So let's go to our SRS actor and locate the pattern controls for our shadows and set the min and max thickness to one. And now if we slide this opacity around, you'll see that our shadows won't be affected anymore.